hello guys in this video I will be showing you how to create this interesting comic like shader inside of blender all right you want to learn how to do it then watch the video watch the video okay so I set up this simple scene here that I'll be using to create this shader so I'm gonna def delay this de um, principal BSDF we don't need it great the first one I'm gonna add is it's called a fresh nail node fresh nail okay so I do want to recommend you enable an add-on by the way the add-on is called um, node wrangler okay you see right here mine is already enabled node wrangler you enable that okay once you enable that you can control click on a node like control shift left click select and it will automatically preview what that node is doing okay like as you can see here great so let's move on okay so I'm gonna drag this slider. I'm gonna drag this. Not a slider. It's a. It's an output socket. We we'll drag it out, and this pop-up menu appears. We're gonna search for less than. Less than. Now we are going to control how we want the outline to be based on the French nail. All right. I think this is about okay yes so we'll duplicate that we'll do it for this as well we'll make it a bit thicker yeah i think this is great good next we're gonna enable we're gonna bring another node this one is called a texture coordinate node we're gonna use the window okay right here the window then you separate XYZ. Separate XYZ will give us an information we can use. Okay. Control Shift left mouse button will switch the different in out, um, output sockets. So we'll multiply this. Multiply and um, use sign yes sign it's a math node just switch sign over here and this will give us something that looks like this increase this multiplication value and it will make it um, much more whatever next we're going to um, um, use a less than node okay we are using a less than node to avoid it from having tra a transition okay like it's as you can as you notice it has this fade in fade out fade in fade out we just don't want that and we can solve that using a less than node so it's either white or black and that's good next we're gonna multiply these two values okay this one multiply by this one multiply and the result looks like this this is not really what we want so we cannot multiply or perhaps we could but instead of using less than we'll switch this to greater than okay that's much better now the next thing we're gonna do is multiply this guy with this guy over here so we're gonna duplicate this and multiply this guy with this guy and this is what it looks like we're getting close getting close let's tweak some settings okay 
let's tweak some settings the next thing I would like us to do is add a color mix that is the mix RGB node you plug this guy over here drag this over here we will switch this to multiply now we'll be able to select the color we want great but there is a problem there's a problem I don't like the idea of this guy being black so how do we fix that how do we fix that well it's really really quite simple we have to invert this color okay we don't like this guy he's not giving a good result we invert this color use the invert node okay go to add color invert over here that would invert the color much better now we multiply it with this guy over here so we remove this one and plug in this one now it's getting closer to what we actually want and now we we'll multiply it with this and boom there we go our comic shader now we want to actually rotate these lines like this this shading effect we want to rotate it so we're gonna use a vector rotate node go to converter uh, vector rotate where is vector rotate if you can't find it just search for it vector rotate okay here it is you just drop that in between window and separate XYZ now we can rotate the angle of the the um, lines and now it's a lot more better than it was originally okay as you can see this is starting to look more like a comic shader okay it looks amazing it looks amazing it looks amazing okay guys that's how you create this comic shader it's really that simple trust me it's not difficult okay it's really that easy okay but mine this one i showcase at the beginning of the video is a bit more advanced okay you can get this on my gumroad for absolutely free the link is going to be in the video description okay so you can get this one up for absolutely free okay it's really easy to use so you don't have any problem it's it's free works in both EV and cycles okay so thank you for watching guys and I hope to see you in the next one goodbye